Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Look at this wonderful breakfast. Now, the beauty part, this is the bare bones time of the month for many, many people. So I decided to talk about some bare bones meals that you can make with eggs. And I have a number of my personal favorites. And by the way, head on over to the Steve Young 74 channel. He recently uploaded a video regarding how to make a beautiful omelet in his microwave, which is what he did. And that picture says a lot. But today I wanted to show you my actual breakfast. Doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg to eat well. Okay, in this I have one egg and one slice of melted Munster cheese. So I prepared it as an omelet. And then I heat it up in my trusty old, take three guesses, air fryer. How many? About six. I think six. Two of them got crushed, unfortunately, but that's okay. They'll still go down the same way. <laughs> six uh, tater tots. I'm telling you, a bag of tater tots at the beginning of the month or whenever you have your um, you know, maximum amount of money to spend that you'd like to for the month, get a bag of tater tots, especially if you have kids in your life or for the little kid in you. You could heat them up alongside with your egg. So I have an egg, Munster cheese, a little bit of tater tots, and I have a well-rounded ending to it. Instead of a junky cookies or anything like that, I'd much rather have an apple or an orange or sometimes even both. I think today I'm going to go for the orange. I'm in an orange kind of mood, but let's head on over to the other favorite egg recipes. Okay. Oh, by the way, of course, I have my wonderful cup of coffee, which is just instant coffee. And today I felt like just putting in some regular, regular milk. I have tons of creamer. Some days I'm in a creamer mood. Some days I'm in a milk mood. This day I'm in a milk mood. And that's what I use. There you go. Okay, so on to the other recipes. Okay, bare bones recipes for eggs that I like. Number one, I like to make deviled eggs. Simply this, you're just boiling eggs, making them hard boiled the way you normally do. You're hauling out the inside and you're making a creamy center. Now, the thing is with the creamy center, the creamy center is like your blank canvas. You could do as you want. Uh, my preference is to put, add in like a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of onion and garlic powder. And I like to simply crush up some bacon, crushed bacon pieces. You know, the one that's already cooked. All you have to do is add crushed bacon. That's if I'm in the mood of that. And like I said, it's a blank canvas. You can make them early in the day. You hollow it out, you know, hollow them out. And then you enter into the each half of an egg, your filling. And I also like to put a little bit of, you could put dry mustard, or you could put a dollop of regular mustard. Depends if you like your eggs very vinegary. That's all up to you. So that is a very inexpensive thing to do. You can make a whole bunch of them, and then your family could pick on them and put out some crackers. Makes a great snack or an actual meal. Okay, so that's one thing I like to do. The other thing I like to do is I like to make a frittata, basically a frittata if you think about it. It is a baked omelet. Frittata is actually a baked omelet. So you add in your certain ingredients, everything plus the kitchen sink, and basically you bake it off, okay? And I could show you the fastest, easiest way to do it, because I believe I have a video up that I made a frittata, and I'm going to look for it and link it up into the description box below. Next, you can make a quiche Laurent, and there are wonderful, wonderful recipes out there, of which I'm going to add to the description box below. And it doesn't have to break the bank either. So basic ingredients in a quiche Laurent would be, this was very popular in the 1970s, by the way. Basically, you need eggs, and you need some half and half, and you need some Swiss cheese, and you need some onion, and then you need some bacon. That's pretty much the classic way of doing it. And you could do one of two things. You can make it absolutely low-carb friendly and eliminate the crust completely. So you just make it that way, and you could, or slash, make it the traditional way. Again, I'm going to link that up in the description box below. And don't forget, there's just good old scrambled eggs, 
uh, fried eggs. If you have things like a can of corned beef hash, you could heat some of that up, which is the, it's very inexpensive, and I have a couple of fried eggs on the side. So this is the time of the month for many when, you know, money and funds get tighter, and this is just my happen to be breakfast. So I thought I'd share it with you. And I would like to ask everyone to enjoy your day and please consider donating to your charity of choice. Mine happens to be anything having to do with food pantries or food banks because no matter what, we have to think of someone else who is less fortunate than us. There you go. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Enjoy.